This is a website designed to make people aware of the protection of the country by the government against external threats such as terrorism. This website will contain a somewhat timeline or timetable feature where most of the content would be placed or arranged according to their specific date and time. Along that would be the opinions, preventive measures, among others. The website will showcase the Philippines and other nations as places where information and technology is already rising as a means of protection. The website will also contain and showcase the government's efforts in protecting, supplying, and or or giving of safety and security to the people against external threats, not including those made by nature or some claim to be God-made. Moreover, the focus on the government's efforts will be on more peace-centered actions, diplomatic actions as some would highly regard. Again, for the efforts to be shown, it is to be emphasized on a higher level of emphasis compared to what is dangerous terrorism, for instance. Since the website made is to be primarily used for raising awareness, we are the project, RRS, to showcase ongoing our past external threats that affect our nation, the Philippines, and other foreign nations too. The supposed and proposed interface of the project is designed to be user-friendly, but not basic in appearance. Since the aim of the website is to make people aware, the site is designed to attract the public. Though the design is something to be watchful for, the content is to shine. On content, other than fun facts on the efforts against threats, these shall be further expounded into articles and may contain opinions from us, the project makers, or even external sources. The project itself shall serve its purpose dearly to all ages, but especially designed for teenagers, even those up to their adulthood. Our team is composed of students 15 years of age that have different specializations but similar interests. Starting with a simple accident, um, yeah, we didn't pick our team members, but no big deal. Our team was formed with that um, accident, or should I say game, that was, the boat was sinking. And you know the rest. We were aided by Mr. Vincent Tabor, an educator in the field of technology and, ho and home economics, he was our teacher in THE, and Mr. Eliezer J. De Los Reyes, who was a specialist in, this, in the sciences of social studies, um, he was actually a big help since um, you could say that he really improved our content. One of the members is Lorenzo, who is speaking right now. I am proficient in English, well, more proficient as compared to others. I am a member of the SLULHS Debate Society. I am also the school paper's news editor, a journalist you can say. I am a poet, a singer, possible songwriter, and I have the great ability to participate in the liberal arts. I am creative in a sense, and I would do anything to reach the top. Another member is Angela. She is resourceful, artsy, and crafty as a person. She is an active member of LVC, or Liturgy and Vocation Club of the school, and also a member of the Debate Society. She is the particular person who has everything she needs to have a job done quick and well. She also has a long name, Maria, Zarina, Angela, Riliera. Abigail is also another member. She is one of the Girl Scouts of the Philippines and is considered the underdog. From her humble beginnings, she now rises to the top of the class, which was somewhat impossible for some, but her look, it's achievable. She is rather frank and somewhat loud. She is also someone who is true to herself and to others. She is also a tree hugger and also a pet lover. James is a mystical, sciencey person. Oh wait, I meant mysterious. He is in love with physics and a bit of chemistry. So in the sciences, he has it all. But not only does he pioneer in the sciences, he is also a poetic person, fond of deep English words. He is rather silent and let's say friendly. 
However, James is really someone who you would really want to meet. Our website generally showcases awareness on what the Philippine government did, is doing, and will do against external threats, specifically terrorism. Basically, it contains several media, such as images and articles, which present facts and some other information on the efforts of the government, such as talks, mostly regarding on peacekeeping efforts. Although the main focus is on the threat against the Philippines, it may be possible, yet most certain that it will include the government's preventive measures against worldwide threats that affect the Philippines and other related territories. As for the appearance of the website, it is as follows. As much as possible, the site will appear appealing to attract viewers, and in a way, it will also appear clean to make it comfortable to all ages, wherein images, as much as possible, won't contain any violent content that is beyond tolerance. As teenagers, we are still in the process of changing or discovering what life could offer. Thus, ours is quite congested due to the rallies of schoolwork. Furthermore, not everything has been taught. Thus, we experience difficulty in the production of a presentable end product. Another problem is the limited bandwidth. To overcome these obstacles, we had to abstain from any other hobbies or activities that could impede our work. We had to organize our schedule so that there was enough time for each of our activities forming equilibrium. As for the congested bandwidth, we had to be patient despite the exasperating speed of the internet. When a team outgrows individual performance and learns team confidence, excellence becomes a reality, says Joe Paterno. The website's development up to its finishing already boosted some skills and already had an impact in the academic and personal field of students, including us. The international project is part of the curriculum at present. Other than the academic field, the project addressed issues concerning safety, which stretched out to the political and other external departments. Research and further reading widened our perspective on diplomacy. This project helped achieve awareness not only on diplomatic or international issues, but even on the factors affecting the events situated in our content, including having a deeper knowledge on one another within the group. The educational system used by the St. Louis Laboratory High School is basically on visual aids made of paper, cartolina, and even chalk on the blackboard. However, as for the subject of technology and home economics, the school incorporates the use of computers. As for the bibliography, the complete copy of it would be provided later on. The bibliography is yet to come since the sources, as of the making of this video, are not collated yet. However, there is an assurance we will provide a bibliography in the near future for the website. For the things that are contained within this video, it could be contained within the credits at the Informations and technologies used to complete the project. The computers, our most valuable tool, help us in gathering information in the web. A total of four personal computers provided us facts and evidences concerning the said topic and additional knowledge for constructing the website. Telephones and or mobile phones that were used for exchange of information and communication between the members were located in each member's home. It fosters unity because of its power to unite the members while doing different tasks at different places. Video and digital 
still cameras. Some are owned by the member's family, while some are owned by the members, captured the present surrounding that will later serve as basis and proofs. Scanners at home and in nearby computer shops were used to digitize hard copy of information gathered by a member that was later sent to the other three by means of the internet. Newspapers in the library and at home were used to be updated to the present situations and issues in the country concerning the topic. Television and radio local channels located in the members' houses were used as the eyes and ears of the members in the country, just like the newspaper. The most valuable tools we have used were the computer and digital cameras. The computer helped us a lot in gathering information even prior to our birth and made us aware of the efforts the government do to keep the Philippines a safe place. The video and digital still cameras proved us the data we had previously found out and let it be shared to our classmates, relatives, and to the whole world. Well, as young Filipino citizens, we have a desire to stop or at least lessen violence in our country due to terrorist attacks. Being young as we are, um, it doesn't really hinder us from this burning desire because we are inspired by what our government does to eliminate terrorism with their power, skills, and equipment to um, do our share of eliminating terrorism. We served as ambassadors online and in person in ways that we were surely helpful. Online, our project served as a site to explain reasons why and what factors in the Philippines triggered the start of terrorism, but focusing on the effects of the Philippine government. With our discussion, we informed the people on the condition of the Philippines that terrorism exists in it. Well, not just for the Philippines, um, also let's say, um, worldwide or just, well, you get the picture. Um, raising the awareness of the people to be careful at all times letting them gain the knowledge of how terrorism existed and how they can prevent it from happening in their own homes. And also, to let them know the Philippine government is doing their best for the sake of the citizens. As for um, international or for foreign countries, we'd, we'd also like to show the efforts of their government to, um, to give the people the correct notion um, that the government is actually doing something, is doing something, pardon. With this, we help the government in disseminating information, or at least we help um, the government in telling the people that, hey, they're actually doing something. Therefore, opening the eyes of other young people like us, that they can do something for the country no matter how young they are and how much they contribute. The project has made an impact on the different levels of the community or the society. The goal to bring about awareness in our point of view was a success. Since the launching of the website, we have shown to other people our product, not only to students, but also to the teachers of our school, to our family members, and even our friends outside the school. The notion of many people is that our government is sloppy and is unprepared towards threats that origin out of the nation. With the help of the website, we showcase what the government did, is doing, and plan to do against this. Did it make a difference? Yes, the notion was changed. So the point of view of people is not absolutely relieved. With the presence of poverty and other problems, the website has changed what others think when it comes to national security and safety. Others think of our idea to be vague, but surely this project will change their minds.